All right, so we're here today with this Golden Mate 12.8 uh, volt, 20 amp hour battery. You know, nothing, nothing giant like that 100 amp hour I did last. But the seller reached out, asked if I wanted a unit to review. I said sure, because I could put one of these in a battery box. Um, they offered a 100 amp hour that they have, but I was like, well, I could actually use a 20 amp hour. So let's see if your battery's any good. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this out of the box. We're gonna get it hooked up to my Ardoit, which is actually a um, 20 amp charger instead of the 10 amp charger that I have that's the good like bio one one We'll get this charging. It'll be the first time I'm using that charger too. As soon as it's charged, we'll go ahead and test it. Um, you'll see that. I also have a thermal thing that I wanna just check on it throughout the charging process to see you know, if it's not getting too hot and stuff. That'll be interesting. And then we'll test it, and then I'll recharge it again. And then I have an auto heater fan, 12 volt, um, you know, cigarette plug. And I'm gonna plug that into it too, and kind of do that as a little stress test uh, after I charge it again. So yeah, let's uh, let's get this unboxed. All right, so we got the box here. I'm gonna get this open. So there's no protection whatsoever. Oh, that was a horrible sound. It was like a kazoo and a duck's butt. Um, all else that's in there is just, you know, oh, it's really stuck in there. Okay. <clears throat> so you got a user manual. You know, the normal stuff. Let me uh, give it a quick read test here. Oh, please ensure that you read the manual carefully. It cannot be used as starting battery. Do not immerse the battery in water. Do not let children touch or operate this product. Do not let the product's environment temperature drops suddenly to avoid its internal condensation phenomenon. Please do not expose the product to fire, heat source, direct sunlight, or high temperature over 60 degrees Celsius. So they got a native English speaker to write that. Um, nothing in it stands out as horrible. I, I like that. Just yeah, that's, that's, that's not a lot of protection for this thing. Um, even the other ones I've ordered have come with some styrofoam. So that's not the most ideal thing. So, you know, pretty basic, decent sticker. Uh, sure does hold fingerprints. Yeah, nothing really of note. Um, just, yeah, I can fit my finger in that seam. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get her hooked up. We're just gonna go right onto these with clamps because I don't feel like messing with rings. Okay, we got red to red. Come on. Uh, black to black. The Ardoit has kicked in. We're gonna let this charge and then we'll be back when it's ready and we'll get the test going. So we've got it hooked up here to the CBA4. Don't mind the mess. I didn't want to clean off the table. Um, yeah, we've got it hooked up. I'll show you the settings we're gonna use real quick. And then, sorry about the shaky cam there. So we're gonna go ahead and draw it down to four amps. You know, we've got all the information in. Let's see what it detects as. So it does see it as 13.4 volts right now with four cells. Um, it's erroneously seeing it as 100 amp hours. That's interesting. All right, yeah, everything should be good now. Um, I will say here, it also did that. It wanted me to do it at 10 amps, it suggested. So something about the battery is coming back as a much larger capacity. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this started. You can hear it spooling up the fans on the heat sink. 13.4, sure. 13.23 is what the line data is saying. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna let this run for about, hopefully five hours and then we'll be back. Um, once it runs for about an hour, I'm gonna come out and get some thermal test, some thermal imaging of it. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll show you that when we come back. So the battery is done testing. 
Um, it reached 20.617 amp hours at 5 hours, 9 minutes, and 17 seconds. Um, it did drop off at about 19 and 3 quarters or so. That's where it dipped below 12 volts. But not bad. Um, for a lot of stuff, this, that would still be fine. Like, I, I would use these for amateur radio. And I'd still be able to transmit just fine. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to charge this thing back up now. And then I'm going to run this 12-volt heater on it for a little bit. See what that does. We'll show you a little bit of that. Right now I've got the heater here, 12 volt. You know, we just got a little adapter and then I got it to the terminals. Running, um, the battery's a little toasty. I mean, I just did finish charging it too. I'll show you that right now. And then, you know, this is putting out a decent amount of heat, as you can see. But yeah, overall I'm pretty happy with this battery. Um, it's the Golden Mate. Model LFP 1220, supposed to be 20 amp hours, came in right at a little over. Would I buy it? Um, the price was right, sure. If the price wasn't too competitive, no. But yeah, as long as it's got a competitive price, uh, it's good enough for my uses. You guys have to make up your minds. But yeah, that's been another battery review. Uh, links in the doobly-doo. Check it out.